I'm Carol Kaplan. Welcome to the first Holistic Exercise tape. For the last five years, I've been running Holistic Exercise classes for all kinds of people from all different walks of life. What we all have in common is that often day-to-day -day problems and tensions stop us from taking proper care of ourselves. But we do share a desire to improve the way we feel and look so that we can be more energetic and motivated. I started Holistics out of a personal desire to be taught exercises properly, with consideration being shown to my own difficulties. At that time, I was too stone overweight, covered with cellulite, and very depressed. Also, I had a long-standing back injury, which left me with one leg shorter than the other. I was stiff, lazy, and incredibly uncomfortable with my body. Utilizing the training I'd had from an early age in exercise, ballet, swimming and gymnastics, I formulated a series of exercises that helped me to correct my body. This not only resulted in my shape changing, but also enabled me to release an enormous amount of tension. So my main emphasis throughout this tape is on giving you as much detailed instruction and explanation as possible on how to perform each exercise correctly. Holistics concentrates on giving you a solid and thorough basis for consistently achieving and maintaining the kind of results you say you want. You'll also find that the exercises will greatly benefit any other forms of exercise or sport that you already participate in. Being lazy myself, I'm the world's best at making excuses to avoid exercise. I know that you have a lot of other priorities, so to make it easy, I've broken the tape down into short sections so that way it'll fit in with your lifestyle, allowing you to concentrate on the areas of your body that you really feel need working on. So, no more putting it off. Do as much or as little as you like. Be careful not to push yourself too much if you're just beginning. And don't be afraid to stop whenever you want to. We're not all striving to be models with six foot legs or super fit athletes. What I would really love to achieve through this tape is that you make the improvements you want so that you feel better about the body you do have. So come on, have a go. You never know, you might enjoy it. We often don't examine properly what has to be done to achieve a certain goal and therefore have little chance of ever reaching it. For instance, following this tape without knowing the basics of technique will not produce the type of results that you're looking for. I want to start by showing you the correct way to breathe with the correct posture so that you will get the most benefit from the efforts that you put in. Results won't come overnight, but if you study the correct way to do the exercises before you start and are consistent, then your body will improve much quicker than your mind gives it credit for. Now let's begin with breathing. I've asked four friends from the Holistics class to join me in demonstrating the exercises so you'll be able to see a cross-section of abilities and be able to check your body positions against ours. If you have a freestanding mirror at home, it's a good idea to put it by your TV so that you can check your position against mine. So to begin with, just stand sideways onto the TV and relax as much as possible. Just relax, just let it go, just shake your arms. Good, all right, let's begin. Usually when I first mention breathing, immediately people go into tension. So notice, just begin to notice how much around this area of the neck and the chest you feel tight. Just relax, just let it go, just shake your arms. Good, all right, let's begin. Take a very deep breath in and notice what part of the body is moving which way and release. And again, breathe in and breathe out. Good. Okay, now while you do the next breath, watch Katie and feel what you're doing and see if it's the same. If you notice her chest and shoulders are rising and her stomach breathes in, and as she breathes out, everything sort of collapses. Take a deep breath in again. And release. Can you feel that? Now this type of breathing is incorrect because when you breathe in, you build tension in the shoulders and the neck and the chest which makes everything really tight. Deep breathing is meant to be relaxing, but by the shoulders and chest rising and pulling your stomach in when you breathe in, you're actually not allowing the correct amount of oxygen to flow through your body. This type of wrong breathing, like bad posture, stems from our childhood where we learned to breathe in against any physical pain or discomfort. 
We do this now when we're in situations of stress or if we're nervous or scared. In contrast to this, if you watch somebody when they're asleep, you'll notice they breathe in through their stomachs. This is, in fact, the correct way to breathe, as you get the correct flow of oxygen right the way through the body. What we're going to do now is we're going to retrain ourselves how to breathe correctly. So let's make that easier by lying down on the floor. Everybody in class, grab a mat. Lie down on your backs on the floor. Everybody at home, if you want to get a cushion, do to make yourselves feel more comfortable. Bring your knees together, feet wide apart and flat, and relax your body as much as possible. Good. Close your eyes, put your hand in your stomach, and take a deep breath into the stomach, pushing your hand away as you do that. Now breathe out and push the stomach in. Breathe in hard through the nose, pushing the stomach out. And breathe out, blowing the air out of your mouth. Relax the lips a little bit more, David. And watch that you don't put too much breath into the chest and shoulders. Keep pushing it into the stomach and breathe out. Make sure each time you breathe to push a little bit more air into the tummy. It will take time to build up, so don't try and push it too soon. Good. When you breathe out, make sure you breathe out all the air, otherwise you will hold tension in one or more areas of the chest, neck, or the body. So breathe right the way out. There are many important aspects to breathing. The first one being for exercise. By breathing correctly, especially in a difficult part of an exercise, you can release most of the tension that comes up in a muscle that's hurting. Also, by breathing correctly, you're actually, in fact, exercising the stomach muscles all the time, which is a bonus for most people. Breathe right out. Keep breathing fully, all the time filling your stomach, trying to get it right down into the pelvis. Also, by breathing this way, you're learning to breathe into the emotional tensions of life, as opposed to against them, which actually makes those particular tensions worse. At first it will feel a bit strange, but you'll notice that the tensions, the fear, or any of the negative emotions that you feel when you're breathing in will become less and less. And breathe out. So how do you feel now? Some of you may be yawning, or you may feel irritated or tearful. This is perfectly normal. You see, every day we have to cope with many situations, both positive and negative, and our bodies take the brunt of this. By breathing and stretching correctly, your body releases a huge reservoir of blocked energy, and in turn, that allows a whole load of mixed emotions to rise to the surface. This release is perfectly healthy and normal, but it's really important for you to understand what your body's doing so that you can allow this energy to come up through the body in whichever way it chooses. Breathing and posture are the two most important elements when it comes to utilizing the exercises correctly. Because of incorrect breathing and posture, or for some of us injuries, most of our bodies are either out of alignment or stiff. So correct posture is a central point to making these exercises work for you in terms of your shape and eliminating the risk of injury. So to begin with, what I'd like you to do is to stand sideways onto me Make your feet nice and wide so they're about the width of your shoulders. And straighten them, particularly at the toes, because this is the area of the foot that tends to turn out more than anything else. So straighten as much as you can. And when you're doing this, make sure that you notice throughout the exercises, and also when you're walking down the street, if they start to turn out a bit, and straighten them. By doing this, you begin to get rid of the squidgy bits at the top of the thighs. Slowly now, bend the knees, nice and comfortably. Push your knees out so they don't cave in, and take your feet maybe just a bit wider so that the width of your shoulders. Good, that's it. All right, first position, push the pelvis and the base of the spine back. Good. Now, open the chest and shoulders as much as possible, sticking out the rib cage and the chest in front of you. Good. Now, make sure that the shoulder is at the same level as the base of your spine, so you're not leaning forward. You're completely upright, but you've got a nice arch in the middle of your back. Bring one hand 
to the front of your stomach where the ribs are and the other hand on the base of the spine. Now slowly with us, push the pelvis forward and as you do that, bring the rib cage back. Stay there while I explain why you do that. You want to get rid of the arch as much as possible in the middle of your back. So that when you're doing the exercises, you're in such a strong position, there really is no risk of injury and it has the maximum effect on your shape. Now to begin with, we've all got completely different shapes here. So don't expect your back necessarily to be as straight as mine straight away. It will take practice. Now drop your arms, relax. Are you breathing? Breathe in and breathe out. Watch for that all the time. You'll stop breathing whenever you're learning something new. Now, slowly pull up through the stomach and the chest. That's right, good. That will allow your shoulders to naturally drop back and down. Elongate the neck, keep breathing. Now the hardest bit of all, straighten the knees without the base of your spine coming out. Keep it nice and tight. Pull up again even more through the rib cage and the chest, shoulders down. Relax your breathing. Now try and relax that rather than holding it tight. Just relax. Shake your hands. Good. Now the legs in this position must be nice and tight because I don't want you to cut the flow of energy from your feet to the base of the spine. At the same time, don't force the knee back too hard. Let the squeezing and the tightening of the pelvis straighten your knee for you. Let's do that once more. Bend the knees again. It takes a while, so we'll go through it again. Base of spine back. Open the chest, shoulders right down. Good. One hand on the stomach and one hand on the base of the spine. Now squeeze the pelvis forward. Really feel that and the buttocks tight. Pull the ribcage back. Pull your shoulders forward. Good. Now slowly pull up through the ribcage. Allow the shoulders to drop back and down. Relax your arms. Do that mainly with the shoulders, not so much with the elbows. Good. Now straighten the knees nice and tight. Make sure you don't bend them a little bit because that'll be too much pressure on the front of the knee. Keep breathing. And release. Okay, let's do a movement to practice that position. Everybody bend the knees again. Get into the first position, base of the spine back, shoulders back. Now this particular movement you're going to use a lot in the next exercises, both stretching and stomach. So let's just practice that. Squeeze the pelvis forward and now the chest as well. Contract the chest. Push it right forward and open. Make the movement nice and fluid, don't jerk it. And squeeze, it's quite nice to stretch your back. And open, good. One more time, squeeze. And open. Okay, let's get back in the correct posture again. Squeeze pelvis forward, relax your arms, pull up through the chest, shoulders down, and stand straight. If you're somebody who juts their chin out, bring the chin back. That will allow everything to be straight. Okay, just relax your arms and legs, shake your hands. Practice that as much as you can. When you're doing the exercises over the next two weeks, you'll find that your shape will change quite dramatically. If you can imagine, standing here for an hour just doing this, you'd feel like you'd done a class for an hour. So that's really important. You'll also start to appear a lot more graceful and you'll feel more confident as a result because you won't be doing anything that's going to hide away. You'll be right up front. So good luck with that. I hope it makes a difference. The first thing we're going to do is take breathing and posture into the next set of exercises to open the whole of your torso and your chest. I'm going to be getting you to move this area as much as I'm going to be getting you to open this. So watch me carefully and check with me so you get it as correct as possible. All right, here goes. Feet wide apart. Make sure that they are the same width as your shoulders. Bring your pelvis forward. Pull the stomach into the back and open right up through the chest. Stretch that as much as possible. Hands on shoulders. Everybody do this now and bring your elbows forward and take a deep breath in and pull right back. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, and again, two. Pull the rib cage up even more. Chin up and release. Three, pull right back, great. 
and release forward. Four, pull right back. Head up and release. Let's see what's happening over here. Five, pull back. Bring the stomach into the back. Don't forget that. And release. Check your feet. And six, pull right back. And release. Seven, elbows back so you can really feel it. Good. And release. One more time. Pull right back. Breathe in and let it right up. Good. Ready for the next bit? Bring the elbows forward and pull up. You can stretch even more now. Breathe in and release. Breathing out. Good. Two. Pull right up and release. Three. Pull right up and release. Good. Four. How are you doing? Pull up. Right back and release. Good. Feel it more then. And right back. Six, pull up. Good, that's great, Katie. And release. One more time, pull up. And release. Good, well done. Same exercise now, except you're going to do it with straight arms. The thing you're going to want to do most of all is bend your elbows. Whatever you do, don't let them bend. Keep them absolutely rigid straight. Ready? Okay, feet, pelvis, Stomach into the back and open the chest and bring the arms back and breathe in. And breathe out. Blow the air out through your mouth. Two, breathe in. And release. Three, pull it right back. Breathe in. And release. Great. Four, pull back. Don't arch your backs. Careful not to arch your back. And release. Five, pull right up. And release. Keep the elbows absolutely straight. Pull back. And release. And try to straighten now on the leg even more. Pull back. And release. Last one. Pull it right back. And release. Check your position. Squeeze the buttocks tight. Just ease that out. Ready? All right. And pull right up. Really, really stretch. And open. Shoulders pressed right back and down. Now feel it right here. Two, pull up, breathe in. And release. Three, pull up. And release. Four, keep going, you're nearly there. And release. Let's see how we're doing. Five, pull up. And back, hold it. And again, pull up. Don't arch the back too much, pull it back. That's it. And release. And again. Pull up. And release. One more. Pull right up. Hold it. And back and release. Okay. Shake your arms and legs and just relax. You'll probably find that although they're very common exercises, they were much harder than usual because you really had to stretch and you had to make sure that you were opening everything up whilst keeping this forward. If you feel tired, that's absolutely normal. In fact, I hope you are. Now, the next exercise is a bit harder because you've got to clench your fists really tight and keep your elbows with the same bend right the way through this exercise. Mark it through with me. Everybody ready? Slowly take your hands back as if you're hitting two imaginary people and just push. Notice I'm doing the movement with my hands and not with my elbows. Bring it back in. When you bring it back in, you're going to make sure that it elastics across the front. Okay, try that with me. Keep your buttocks tight and go. One, breathe out. Five, six, bit of a shell shock, this one. One, two, three, four, five, harder, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Oh, and drop. Just relax your head. Come up. You're going to do that with straight arms now. Bring the arms right back. This one, you've got to be careful not to stick your bottom out. Squeeze your bottom forward and go. Two, three, good. Four, five, six. Keep breathing out. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and again, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, higher, seven, eight, and harder, one, two, one more, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and release, last slot now. Don't collapse yet. Cross your elbows and your arms. Keep your arms straight. We're going to go in the middle of those two exercises. And go. One, and lift the ribs right up. Low out to create the momentum in your arms. Six. Two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and release. Just relax that. Well done, That's that is a really hard one. It looks simple, but it's hard. The next one's quite different. Now we're going to really open the whole of this up with the base of the spine. So everybody turn sideways on. You two, you stand sideways on to me. I'm gonna keep my knees straight for the advanced people to follow me, but everybody else, especially those of you that are beginning, follow everybody else in class with knees bent. All right, bend the knees. Clasp your hands behind your back by entwining your fingers. Open the back by sticking your bottom out. Pull your shoulders right back and extend forward with a flat back. Make sure that your shoulders are away from your ears. Try not to crunch up. Open that right out. Push the knees out. Let the stomach sink into the floor a little bit more. OK, now you're going to drop your head and relax it completely and the back of the neck. And lift your buttocks up so that you create a slide effect with your back. Bring the arms over and bounce, one, two, from the hips, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and gently straighten your legs if they're bent. Slowly pull up, head last, relax the head and neck. Good, bottom tight. Open the chest and shoulders. People with weak backs, don't do this bit. And gently release right back, breathing out. And up, good. And again, bend your knees. Open the back, shoulders right back and extend forward. Stomach right onto the thighs. Lift the base of your spine up so that you've got a tilt in the back. Drop your head down and go. Last time now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And slowly straighten the knees. Gently pull up. Open the shoulders and the chest. Good. Gently release back now. And up. Good, how do you feel? It feels a bit different here, doesn't it? You've just opened the whole of this area up with your breathing and posture. Now we'll go on to the next bit. Well done. With these next exercises, we're going to concentrate on taking posture and breathing into opening the groin, the thighs, the calves, the feet and the back. So that's a lot more than you've done at the beginning. We're going to use the bar to do the exercises. And if you've got something really sturdy like this at home that can take all your weight, make sure you use something like that. OK, let's go over here. Now, when you first start to do these exercises, it's important just to notice if you go into tension in your chest again, keep breathing all the time and relaxing. I'm going to bully you all the way through this. So just watch carefully and follow us. Facing the bar, feet together, Bottom tight, push the pelvis forward, bring the rib cage into the back. We'll just check everyone's doing that. Come up into half point, and as you do this exercise, make sure that your heels never, never touch the floor. You want to feel this primarily in your buttocks. You're probably going to feel it in your calves. OK, ready, everybody? For a little bit of pain, and go. One, two, slowly, three, four, five, don't jerk, six, seven, eight, and again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Eight. Now feet turned out, you're probably feeling this in the calves, squeeze your bottom tight so you can feel it right here and come up onto half point, shoulders down and go one, breathe, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now feet parallel and apart. Bend the knees, squeeze the buttocks tight and stretch. You're probably hurting a bit now and up into half point. Go. One, two, three, four. It should be starting to hurt now. Six, seven, eight. And breathe. One, two, three. Bring your body back a bit. Five, six, seven, eight. Feet turned out. Stop if you want if you're doing this for the first time. Just relax and watch or carry on with us and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep this nice and tall. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and release. Shake your legs and face the bar now. Take your right foot in front of your left. Take the left foot slightly to the side. Now the tricky thing with this one is to make sure that your pelvis is in the right position. So push the left buttock and hip forward. Good. Make sure this is straight. That's really important. Your heel's flat. And just bend forward and push. Open the chest. Push from here. Don't lean forward. Good. Breathe. Relax. Great. And change legs. Left foot in front of the right. Again, make sure the pelvis and the base of the spine is straight. Bend the left knee, stretch the back knee on the right leg. Good, and stretch, and breathe, just relax. Good. Excellent, shake your legs. Now, the next exercise is tricky. B and David are going to do it facing their chairs. If you're starting this for the first time, do it like that because it's really hard. Those of you who are quite used to doing exercise, sideways onto the bar, feet together. Everybody bring your feet together, that's it, great. Arm out to the side, Norman, pelvis forward, bottom tight and open up through the chest. You're going to have to really use your breathing here, so pull up, good, and bend. Release down slowly. Breathing out. Okay, now lift the heels right up. Squeeze the pelvis forward. Just have a look at what my pelvis is doing. Open the chest and breathe in. And pull up, breathing out. Heels down, good. And again, pull up. You probably notice the tension on their faces, so everybody in class, just relax. And bend, breathing out, good. Just relax like that, nice and straight and pull up, breathing out, good, heels down, and pull up, and bend, make sure you keep this right forward, can you see what I'm doing with Katie, shaking legs, and pull up, and down, heels down, last time, pull up, and bend, release down, Norman's a dancer, but he's just joined and he finds this pretty hard. So don't be too tough on yourself if you can't do it. And pull up. Good. And heels down. Fantastic. Shake your arms and legs. All right, now for the next exercise. This one you've got to really watch and listen closely. It'll take you a while to get, so I'm going to show you some incorrections as we go down. Feet wide apart and turned out and take your body really close to your chair or couch. Make sure that you've got a good width so that your heels don't come off the floor. All right, ready for this? And gently release down. As you do that, let your buttocks come right back and all your weight onto your arms. Just watch what I'm doing, follow that. Make sure your pelvis isn't too forward and make sure you're not putting your weight like this. Let everything just relax. That's it, that's right, good. Okay, now, you're gonna have tension here, so relax the shoulders and take a deep breath in and breathe out. Now, if you want to slide your feet forward, because that's easier for you, do that, and breathe in. Great, and come up, 
and ease that out. Just ease it out by pulling the hips from side to side. Okay, this time let's do it again, but less tension on the shoulders and the neck. And gently, everybody, release down. Remember all the weight on your hands and arms. Now this time, squeeze the pelvis forward and push it back. It's a very hard movement. And squeeze. And back. Good. And squeeze. Now push the knees right back. And base of the spine back and squeeze forward and pull up, breathing out. Okay. Now ease this out from side to side. Ease the hips out. Good. All right. And everybody, gently release down again. See how Norman's doing. Okay. His pelvis is a little bit too much forward, so I'm going to ask him to move this back. Good. Now open the chest. Pull up through the rib cage. You pull up through the rib cage and chest when you want to open this area. Try not to do it with the shoulders. Don't lift yourself up. Now push the pelvis forward. Bring it forward. That's it. Good. And back. Stick the base of the spine right out and forward and pull up good ease that from side to side just feel the tension in your face it's probably a little bit like that at the moment just relax okay last time gently release down bend okay let's see how everyone's doing now that's it you see david had to relax his shoulders then head up lots of breathing into the stomach breathe in and out, good. You're doing well. And gently just bounce now. Let's see how Katie's doing. Slowly bounce. Notice with Katie, she's keeping her back absolutely straight. Good, that's lovely. And gently come up, slowly. Great. Shake your arms and legs. Now, this exercise is exactly the same, but it's harder. Bring your feet closer together. Feet are still turned out, about this width to begin with. As you get better, you can get wider and wider. But for now, just keep it like this. All right, up into half point. Squeeze the buttocks tight. The hard thing here is to keep your heels really raised as well as knees straight. Something that Katie's still working on. You can see she's still a little bit bent. Now, gently bend down, again releasing all the way down. Now, the whole body and arms should come back. Can you see that? Good. Relaxing the shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Good. Norman, bring the base of your spine back a little bit. Now open up through the chest. Okay. Pull the knees right back. Lift the heels right up as much as possible. They're shaking yet. A bit like this. Gently come up. Good. Okay. Now don't collapse. Stay on half point. Ease that out. Shoulders down. And breathe. That's it. Good. Okay, last time. Let's try that again. Gently release down, slowly. Keep the pelvis right forward. Now hold it there. When you lift up, lift up through the rib cage and chest. Shoulders right down. David, relax your shoulders. Good. All right. That's great. Very gently. Push the knees back. If you see this happening, relax that. Whoops and pull up and pull good hold it hold it and release great shake your legs all right last exercise we're going to take this into the base of the spine and the backs of the legs and we're going to address the area between here and here and here and here and it'll go into the front of the shoulders I'm going to make sure that the whole lot of that opens up so come away from the bar Legs wide apart, feet straight. This is where they're going to want to turn out a bit, so just check that. Keep them straight and extend forward onto the bar with a really flat back. Okay, now, some of you may have your feet a little bit under. Make sure you push them right back so that the base of your spine can push up to the ceiling as much as possible. Hands wide on the bar like Katie. Can you see the movement that she's making? She's stretching forward from her chest and rib cage. Now for someone like David, you'll notice that the base of his spine is still really tight. So David, I'm going to get you to bend your knees. Lovely. Now bring your head up a bit. 
and the chest. That's it. Bend the knees a bit more. Just so that, can you see, that can ease right out. Now, I'm going to ask him to stretch again. Watch his back. It bends up again. Bend the knees again now. Now hold it there. Everybody else in the class, straighten your knees. And push the pelvis forward, bending the back. And open the back. Base of the spine to the ceiling, chest to the floor. And squeeze it forward. Squeeze it right forward, David. You can straighten your knees now. And open up. Now hold it there. And push your buttocks from side to side. That's it. Good. Slowly. Don't jerk it. All the time opening this area. That's good. Great. All right. Drop down now. Now when you drop down to the floor, just bend your knees a bit because that will have got into the backs of your knees a lot. You just need to ease it up. The, the trick is to straighten the legs, completely straighten them, and bend them, and straighten and bend them. We're going to take that a little bit further. I'm going to drop down. Take your hands over to your right ankle, and as you do that, watch what yours and my buttocks and hips are doing. You'll probably notice that they're completely out of alignment. One hip is higher than the other. Now, in order to get a really correct position for the legs and the base of the spine, in terms of shape, and also correcting any injuries, you need to be as straight as possible with the buttocks. So gently bring your body back to the middle of your legs and push the left buttock and hip to the ceiling. Don't go too out of place, otherwise you'll twist to the other side. Just make sure you're completely straight. And bend the knee. As you bend, you may find that they drop again because it'll take a while to keep these balanced out. So push the relevant buttocks up and down and stretch, breathing out, remembering to get the back of your knee straight as possible and bend again and stretch. Breathing up, make sure that you breathe out at home and bend. I'm just going to correct Katie's behind so that it's nice and straight and stretch. Make sure that's really straight. Good. Now over to the other side and bend and stretch. I'm just going to straighten Norman out, so just have a look while I do that. And bend. Good. And stretch. And bend. No breathing. Breathe in. That's better. And stretch, breathing right out. And slowly come to the middle now. Feet still wide. Make sure they're straight and drop down, bend down. Now lift your heads and your shoulders up and move between the base of your spine and your chest. Keep moving until you get an absolutely flat back. Good, that's great. Feet straight, they'll want to veer out a little bit and go bounce. Two, three, breathe, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time, one, two, three, good, four. Keep going, five, six, seven, eight. Grab hold of your ankles through the insides of your feet. Keep them straight. Now drop your head down. Relax that. If this is hard for you to stretch with straight legs, then bring your hands up to your calves. It's absolutely fine. Ready? Breathe in and stretch. Breathing right out. And bend. Breathe in. Good. And stretch. Breathe out. Relax your head and neck completely all the time. And bend. And stretch. Straighten your knees as much as possible. Just that bit extra. Yeah, that hurts, doesn't it? And bend. Good. And again, stretch. Hold it there. Now ease the hips from side to side and the buttocks. Just open up the hips a little bit. And bend. Good. Last time and stretch. Really pull your body as far down to the floor into your legs as possible and slowly pull up. Gently. Whew. And relax. Well done. That was really hard, wasn't it? Do you remember at the start of these exercises I said that you might have certain areas that are out of alignment? Well, you've just been working on these, which is really difficult, so give yourself a pat on the back. Terrific.
The next set of exercises are going to work on a part of the body that I personally hated when I first started doing them, the hip joints and the buttocks. When you first start to work with this area, you may find that your movement is very limited, but don't give up, because we've all felt like that whenever we first started to do these exercises. So, take it really slowly, just follow us. We're probably gonna moan and groan, so you'll have to excuse us. It's still an area that gets to parts that perhaps other exercises don't get to. So, let's begin. Take your hands forward. Right away from your knees. The distance between your hands and your knees is really important because that will give you more leeway to move. Now take them slightly over to the left. Open your back, head up, and lift the knee. Make sure that the knee is higher than the foot. Don't bend the elbow. Move your hands to wherever you can feel comfortable. Okay, ready? And go. Bring the knee forward. One, two, three, four, five. See what I mean? Six, seven, eight, and breathe. One, two, breathe out. Three, good, four, five. Breathe, let your body move. Seven, eight, and release. Just release that back. Stretch the back out now. Good, that should ease out the muscle in the buttock. Okay, enough rest. Slowly come up. Take your hands over to the other side. Make sure they're in a comfortable position for your back to be open. And lift your knee up. Don't look at your knee. Bring it back now. Go. One, two, three. Breathe. Four, five. Straighten your elbow. Six. Good. Seven, eight. And take it higher. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Five, six. Nearly there. Seven. Eight, hold it, and release. Just ease that right out. Good. Good. Come up and over to the other side. Similar position, slightly different exercise. Make sure each time you get your hands and your arms even in a better position for you. And lift the knee up. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight in again, no, not again. Release that. And up. And over to the other side. Open the chest, shoulders down, head up. And go again. One, two, and breathe. Three, four, good, five, six. Push it right up. Seven, eight, and ease that out. Your hips will really be starting to feel this now. And come up, over to the other side, nearly there. Now take your leg right out to the side, push it away from your groin and make sure that your back is nice and loose and arched. And lift up, one, keep the knees straight, three, go on and more, five, six, seven, eight, and release, ease that out, breathe. And up, and take the arms over to the other side. And the other leg out to the side now. Open the back, you're gonna to have to use your breathing. And go, one, two, keep the knees straight. Four, good, five, six, seven, eight, and collapse. Well done, not easy. Okay, into the last position. Take your feet by your buttocks. Make them nice and tight and close into that area and knees wide apart. And just breathe out. Just relax. All right, David? Good. Okay, now slowly put your hands on your ankles and push the pelvis forward. Now open the back out, stick the bottom out, chest right back so you arch the back. It doesn't matter if your buttocks are off the floor, each time you push forward and back, make sure that you get a little bit closer. And push forward again. It's just going to open up just here and back. And breathe and squeeze. And open up. Last time. Push it right back. Open the back, shoulders right back. Keep breathing and forward. Now hold it there. Push the right hip forward, 
and release, sit down, relax your face and shoulders, and the other side, push, and back, I know, I know it hurts, and push, and back, and again, push, and back, and slowly, only as far as you can, bring your knees in a little bit if you want, if you can only go down to here, please don't worry about that, just use that hip position, ease it down over a period of weeks you'll be able to release believe it or not right down those of you who are really good at this flex your feet to the side everybody else keep them pointed and gently release down and breathe in and out and breathe in and out David and Norman just come up a bit. Their backs are arching a bit, so I know they, they look like they're doing it all right, but they're being brave, so just ease that. David, stop struggling. Come up a little bit. Don't be a hero on this one. It's not worth it. You'll be perfect at this in a few weeks. Okay, last time. Release back. Now try, if it is at all possible, to relax in this position. Breathe. Come breathe in. That's it. It's the only way you're going to release any type of pain at all. And release. Okay, just let your knees come up. Oh, can you feel that? Great, well done. That's the end of that section. These next set of exercises are designed specifically for bottoms and thighs and we're going to do them without mats, so I suggest you do them without cushions. We're going to finish off the exercise by tightening up the legs, and I think this one can best be described as having a really good giggle. Anyway, everybody into this position. Bring your right foot in front of your left and lean back. It's the only time you're going to relax throughout this exercise. I'll just show you very quickly first. When you lift up, you're going to bang the thigh down on the floor. Make sure it's not the bottom. You want the fleshiest, gungiest bit of your body that you can find on the leg. So let's go. Pull up. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Suitably shocked? Good. Let's try the other side. Whew. Shoulders down. Relax right back on your hands. And go. One, two, three, four, five, hard six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. It gets worse. Fold your arms. Make sure they're away from your body. And lift up through your chest and tighten your legs as much as possible. Lift up onto your side. Now see if you can hold it. They're probably going to fall over in a minute. And bring it forward. And release. A bit faster now. And up. Forward. Down. And up. Forward. Down. Pull up. And forward. And down. Two more. Forward. And down. And up. Forward. And down. How are we doing? Okay, pull up now. Now we're going to go backwards. And pull up and pull right back and release and up back release don't cheat up hold it release and pull up here back release good and up back release pull up back release one more up back hold it and release okay now we're going to do that fast shake your legs and breathe try not to hold the air here Keep the shoulders down. Now we're going to speed that up. Go. Use the whole leg. <laughs> and back. Right back. Make it really hard. Once more. Forward. And back. As fast as possible. And back. Breathe out. Okay, <laughs> one more time. <laughs> and back. 
And just release down. Just put your head down, shake your legs. And come up. Well, just to tighten that up, oh, David, it's hard for the men and the women. OK, point your feet. Make sure that your legs are straight down facing me. And when you land, keep them straight down. Just follow me and see how you do. Now pull up to the middle, keeping your knees straight. Hold it. And release down. Good. Open that up again. Remember, try not to do this. Keep it nice and open. And pull up. Breathe out. And release. Good. Straight down to the mirror. Or to me. And pull up. And down. Last time. See if you can hold it as little weight as possible on your hands and pull up. No hands. And release down. Good. Shake your legs. That's the end of that section. It's short, sharp, and it hits the points that count. On this next section, we're going to concentrate on strengthening the base of the spine and the pelvis. And we're also going to concentrate on tightening the calves, the thighs, and the buttocks. If you've got a cushion at home and you have a slightly weak back, or you find that that area is stiff, it's a good idea to put the cushion or a couple of cushions right under this area here. So we'll turn on our fronts. You turn with us. OK, just before we start the exercises, if you want to get your cushion, anybody here, if you want to, turn your mats over and put your pelvis right on the mat so it makes it much more comfortable for your pelvis and base of spine. OK, clasp your hands behind your back and point your feet. Legs wide apart. Now, on this particular exercise, you're going to lift up the top half of your body, but you're going to keep the bottom, or you're going to try to keep the bottom half of your body and your feet on the floor. So, let's go and go. One, two, three, good, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. And one more time. Pull up, breathing out as you come up. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Just relax that now. Hands by your ribs. Ease the back up by moving your buttocks from side to side. Gently and slowly pull up. Shoulders right down. Good. Now, if they're not down, slide them forward towards me at home. Head back. And stretch. Move your head from side to side. Let your mouths come open. And release. Take your legs a little bit wider now. It may help you to stretch. And pull up. Stretch slowly. Now keep your pelvis on the floor. Good. Shoulders right down, elbows straight. And release. Good. Just relax that. That's just a nice stretch to stretch the stomach out, particularly after any stomach exercises. Now everybody bring your legs together. And we'll concentrate now on tightening the whole of the back of the legs. So I'm going to go over to Katie so I can illustrate what I want you to concentrate on. First of all, dig your toes into the floor so that you get your knees right off the floor. That's good. Now take your head to the side. Everybody in class, take your head to the side and either have your hands like this with your head to the side or either have your arms by the side of your body, whichever is most comfortable. Now take the left leg and lift it up off the floor, but only a small amount because usually what happens is that people's knees want to bend as they come up. Straighten the knees by flexing the foot hard and everybody push. One, two, breathe, three, good, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold it. Really tight, hold it and release, good. Keep the toes right into the floor, don't let that relax, and the other leg pull up and push. One, two, three, four, five, breathe, six, good, seven, eight, and hold it. Just hold it right there, breathe, and release, good. And now the other leg again, but this time just hold it there, don't push the leg at all, and push, pull the left leg up and push, hold it, pull it up higher, 
flex the foot and straighten it, tightening the buttock and right the way along the length of the back of the leg. And release. And the other leg, pull up and just hold it there. Tighter. Squeeze the buttocks tight. And release. Excellent. Now, feet wide apart. If you want to fold your mats, do. I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. This time, really make sure you dig in the toes as much as possible. And when you come up, make sure that you don't bend at the back of the knee. Squeeze the buttocks tight. Breathe in. And pull up and push. One, slowly lift. Use your stomach. Good. Four, five. Six, good, seven, keep it straight, eight, hold it there. Now straighten out even more, flex. You may want to bring your foot down a bit more. That's it, now that's really straight, and release. Okay, last time, and pull up and push. One, two, take it nice and gently, don't push too high. Five, six, seven, eight, hold it, hold it, tight, 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 and release. That's wonderful, now arms out in front of you. Okay, now slowly as you do this, pull both the arms and the legs up, point the feet now, squeeze the buttocks tight and gently pull up, hold it there, stretch right the way through your torso and pull up and push, one, gently, two, three, don't bend at the knee, four, five, keep the arms straight, seven, eight and release. Last time now, and pull up. Hold it and elongate your back lengthways and push up and go one, two, good, three. Don't lift the legs high. Five, six, seven, eight. Hold it there, flex the feet. Just see if you can get the knees any straighter, straighter, straighter. And just relax, good. Come back onto your mats, knees wide apart and feet together and take your arms forward until your chest is touching the floor and the base of your spine is up to the ceiling and turn your head to the side. And slowly come up. Good. Those exercises were short, but it's a very delicate area, so you must take care not to overdo it. If you feel any tension that you feel is bordering on being painful in that area, make sure you stop and start again. We'll go on to the next section now. Throughout the class, you've been concentrating all the time on stretching this area by doing correct posture and being in the correct position. However, now what we're going to do is we're going to strengthen the muscles even more, right deep into the stomach and the base of the spine. And we're going to concentrate on opening the groin and the pelvic area so you really can get the benefit from these exercises. That means a little bit more pain, folks. So when we're doing these exercises, concentrate as much as possible on not putting tension into your shoulders and neck, because that's the first thing you're going to do. Keep putting that into the stomach. Let that take all the weight. When you're doing them, really relax and stop when you want and start again. OK, let's begin. Everybody lie down on the floor. Lie down on your mats. Oh, bring your feet close to your buttocks. Knees wide apart so that you can open the groin area nice and wide. For those of you just starting, put your hands behind your neck just so it's nice and comfortable. For those of you that are advanced, like Norman, fingertips on forehead. And if you're advanced at this, do that as well just to make it a little bit harder. All right, let's begin. Squeeze the pelvis forward and pull the shoulders and arms off the floor. Squeeze really tight as much as you can. Good. And release. All right, do this with breathing now. And squeeze and pull up. Tight, nice and tight. And release. And pull up. OK, we're going to add something new to this now. And push to the knee with the elbow. Two, three. Four, and release, good. Your stomach will have felt much more those movements. And again, pull up and tight. Go one, two, three, four, and release. Last time, 
squeeze really tightly now and go one, two, three, four, and release. Stretch that out. Stretch the whole of the stomach out, nice and long. Squeeze the buttocks, point the feet, and we'll go into the next exercise. Cross your feet now. This one, you're going to feel this really deep into the pelvis area. Keep the knees nice and apart, feet pointed. We'll make your legs shake a little bit more. Fingertips on your forehead or behind your head. Now pull the stomach into the floor, right in, and squeeze. Hold it, hold it, and release. Oh, good, that's an effort, I know. And pull up and squeeze. Come right up if you want to. Make sure you don't cheat by using your legs to get you there. And release. Good. And again, pull up. See how we're doing here? Struggling. And release. Good. And pull up and push the knees right away as much as possible. Give you more tension in the stomach. And release. And again, pull up, lift it higher, tight, tight, tight. And release, good. And last time, pull up. Okay, I'm gonna pull Katie right up. Ooh. And release, good. Okay, bring your knees into the chest. Cradle your knees. Nice way to ease out the base of the spine. So either do this or stretch as much as possible between each exercise so that you don't get too much pain in the stomach region. Nice and tight, okay. Next one, feet wide apart. That's it, away from your buttocks. Arms by your side on this one. Squeeze the pelvis again and lift your head and your arms off the floor. Good, that's great. Now we're gonna go over to the left heel first and back to the middle and go. One, two and lift, three. Good, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, ten, and release. No groans, that's very good. Okay, come up, and over to the other side, go one, two, and again, three, great, four, five, six, seven, eight, breathe, nine, ten, and release. And breathe into your stomach. And breathe out. And pull up and hold it. Okay, now for the hard one. Side to side, double time to the left starting. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, nine, ten, and release. Oh, yes, precisely. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Okay, everybody just relax in class while I show everyone at home how to do this. Now we come to the famous sit-up. I know, oh God, you're gonna miss this out. Don't, because there is a different way of doing this. You know in sit-ups, usually what happens is you're told to sort of like, really sort of bunch up, and do it really quickly. Well, actually that's not correct for your back and also you'll finish after two. So we're gonna do it slightly differently. You remember the movement we've been doing with our pelvis, this one, where we bring it forward and back. I'm, I'm gonna get you to use that a little bit more. You're gonna have your elbows straight. You can't cheat with this, because I don't want you to use your arms. And I only want you to go back to where what I call your breaking point is. Can you see that? If, for instance, you're gonna arch your back and go back, don't do it any further than where your whole spine can keep contact with the floor. Keep your chin into your chest so you don't take the strain in your neck and slowly, so you still feel it, come right up. Shoulders down and stretch. In one way, it makes it harder, but in another way, it makes it easier. But I'll leave that to your body to feel the difference. So everybody start from sitting up. Clasp your hands tight. We're gonna do a lot of these and just completely finish that area off, all right? Remember everyone here, keep your base of your spine back as much as possible, open up through your chest. Ready? All right. And gently release down, go. And breathe. And up, good. Two, and back. 
and up. Three, back and up. Fantastic, back and up. Now breathe and back and pull up and back and up. Seven, back and up. Stop if you want and back and up. Hold it. Breather and go again and back. And up. a few more. Release back. Keep going. And curve right back. And up. Keep your feet on the floor as well. And back. Try not to let your knees straighten. And back. Don't use your arms. You'll be getting tired now. And back. And pull up. Back. And up. And breathe. And up. Oh, and relax that. Those were the stomach exercises. They'll get easier over time. Take it slowly, stop and start when you want. Well done. Throughout this class, we've concentrated on specific areas in each exercise section. What we're going to do now, given that this is the last section, is put the whole lot together. And I'm going to concentrate with you on stretching out your legs in different positions sitting up and lying down, but you're going to concentrate mainly on the groin and the base of the spine and the backs of the knees. We're going to do this so that you can get rid of as much tension and stiffness as possible, and that involves a lot of hard work, so let's begin. Lie down on your mats. Bring your feet really close to your buttocks, as close as you can, knees wide apart. To make it harder for us here, take your feet right to the edge of the mat. Okay, ready? Push the pelvis up to the ceiling. Move around until you're comfortable. And go. One, two, three, four. Really high. Six, seven, eight. And again. One, two, three, four. They hate this one. Five, six, seven, eight. Now hold it there and don't let the buttocks drop and go in and out with the knees. Go. One, two, Three, harder, four, five, six, seven, eight, good, one, and again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold it right up, push, 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 and release, good, ease the knees into the chest, I think Norman's struggling here, up into half point, Bring the feet close again and push right up again. Hold your feet if you want, if it makes it easier. Keep the groin and knees nice and open. And push, one, right up, two, feel it in the stomach. Four, breathe, five, six, seven, eight, and go. One, two, you should be really feeling it now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, hold it there. <laughs> Knees in and out, hold it, hold it. Go, one, two, good, three, four, five, six, breathe, seven, eight, one more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and, oh, release. You did that one because the next one's really hard and actually does ease this one out as well, so. Left foot flat on the floor. This is where we begin to work on the back of the knee in conjunction with the base of the spine. Now, for the first part of the exercise, put your left hand on the right calf, right behind it, and the other hand at the back of the leg, just here, okay? Now, just pull the knee back and straighten the leg. Not completely, but just enough so you feel the tension in the muscle right along the back of the leg and the calf. Now gently pull it right back. Oh, you feel that nice and tight. Now from there, bring one hand just above the knee, because this is the hard part. You're going to straighten the leg out, really stretch it, and then bend. Now this time, let's do it with breathing. Breathe in and stretch, breathing right out. This is just as painful to watch as to do, by the way. And bend. Okay, see those of you who are advanced, take it back as far as you want and stretch. 
right back. Stretch out the other leg if you want. Beginners don't do that, just keep it bent and release. Okay, let's see how you're doing. And stretch. Oh, let's go over to Katie. And bend. Now I'm going to turn Katie's knee in a bit. Some of you may find that your knee veers to one side or the other. Bring it back to the middle, now stretch. I'm going to put her hand back on here so she can really go for straightening the back of the knee as much as possible and flexing the foot. <laughs> and bend. Last time. And stretch. Now if you want to bring your head off the floor, you can do. That actually takes away some of the tension here. It's this, we're doing this so you can really get the circulation going on the back of the leg and relax. Well done, that was great. Bring the knee into the chest, bring the right knee into the chest, just to cradle it. Okay, other side. Usually it's harder on the other side, I just thought I'd warn you first. Bending and stretching again. Stretch the leg. Only after you've bent the knee for about five or six seconds. Now stretch. Now her knee's veering in a little bit, so I'm going to pull it back to the middle. That will help you to straighten. Just check your knee right at the front. See what's happening. And bend. Good. And stretch. Now if I get her to flex her foot, she has to straighten that more. So if you're on your own, flex the foot just to see what that will do. Good. And bend. And stretch. Relax the chest. Bring it down a little bit. It's fine for you to bring your leg down so you can straighten it even more. Don't pull it back. If you're going to bend the knee, that's cheating. And bend. Good. And stretch. And bend. And move your back a little bit. If you want to sort of move around so you can ease out the pain and the tension. And stretch. Keep going. This is long, hard, slow. And bend. Okay, Norman. And stretch. Now relax your head. And bend. Now do it with the breathing again. You've stopped breathing. Breathe in. And stretch. Breathing right out. Good. And release. Okay. One last time. And bend. You knew I'd come to you, didn't you? <laughs> and stretch. He's very tight in the back, David, so it probably helped to bring your, his head up. Bring your head up. Now grab onto the leg a little bit more, one hand here. It just helps him take the strain away from the back of the neck. Now flex your foot hard. By flexing the foot, he has to straighten the back of the knee. And bend. Good, okay, relax that. Well done. Now you can do that one in your own time, away from this tape just by taking time to bend and stretch in your own time it's actually quite nice to really pull it into your chest but if you're like me you, ne you never do anything on your own so just make sure when you're doing it with us you get the most benefit as possible in stretching the back of your knee okay knees into the chest we're going to take that now further we're going to stretch the same parts of the body but we're going to introduce hips now so sit up Shake your legs, just ease that out. Okay, bring the left foot into the inside of the thigh. Now on this one, you may feel a bit lopsided. Just get as straight as possible and make sure that your leg goes straight down in front of you. Now, in order to get the back of the knee straight, we've got a trick here, which is so everyone just put your hands like this. Just first so you can feel the position. Now put that under your calf and right down to the ankle if you can, doesn't matter if it's there though. Now slowly begin to rock just to get yourself that set and go down as far as you can relaxing the head. Bend the knee and stretch and bend. You can feel that a little bit more now and stretch. It's harder sitting up actually than lying down. Some shaking going on here and bend and stretch, breathe out, and breathe in, and stretch, this really takes patience, and bend, just relax, really relax your bodies as much as possible, and stretch, and bend, and stretch, now hold it there, 
If you can, just gently bounce, just really slowly. Good, that's great. Okay, let's change legs. Enough of that one. Whoa. Shake them. Breathe. These ones that are more laborious really need a lot of breathing. And gently moving your body. Make sure you don't jerk any of the movements in your body. So, same things with the hands. How are you doing? Struggling. Okay. Now, let's go forward. Same thing again. Just drop down. Relax your head. Just remember, just to take it gently. Try not to move your body further than it's able to go. And bend. And stretch. Now, those of you who are really advanced, as you're bending and stretching, keep bending and stretching as I explain, try and open your chest and your back as much as possible so you can really elongate the base of the spine and the back of the leg. Really pull right forward. And bend. And stretch. And bend. And come up. Good. Shake the legs. Okay, we're going to put both legs together now. Now, on this one, you, you can use a lot more to ease out the tension here. Same thing again with the hands. Bring the hands underneath. Yep. Okay. Now, flex the feet. Hold it there. Body really upright as much as possible. Are you strong, David? Yeah. Something that will help you is to put a cushion under the balls of the feet, under the, the ankles just here. David, come back on your mat a bit. That's it. That will help you to bring the feet off the ground. It's a little bit of cheating, but I'll allow that. All right. Now go forward. And use the elbows. Bend the elbows to pull you forward. Now, just move your body around. Shake your legs if you want. And lots of breathing. Loads and loads of breathing. And go forward again. And move now through the stomach if you can. Even if you're here, that's fine. Just try and keep the backs of the knees straight. Push your buttocks back so you can get the base of your spine to come up and over as much as possible. And also relax the knees when you want. Don't keep them straight all the time because that will probably be too much strain at first and you won't thank me in the morning. Bend the knees and stretch. Good. And bend. You've stopped breathing. And stretch. And bend. Now point the feet. It's easy with pointed feet just to feel that. Good. Now for those of you that want, Norman, bring your hands to your feet. David, stay where you are, but bend the knees. Relax the knees. When you see your legs shaking like David's did, remember to relax the knees and then stretch again. So go down. And bend. And stretch. Good. Come up. I think our colours changed somewhat slightly. Good. Can you feel that? Yeah? All right. Last but not least, legs wide apart. This is a difficult area, mainly because most of us have got so much stiffness in the base of the spine that we end up starting off a bit like this. So it's very hard to get anywhere. So try and sit back as much as possible. And another trick with your cushion is to fold the mat. In fact, David, you do this because it will make it easier. Is to fold the mat and just come right to the end so it sort of slants your pelvis and base of spine off the floor. So anyone who wants to do that can. That's it. Okay, ready? Just open up the chest. Now again, you'll find the knees are a bit bent, so bring the hands here and just pull up the foot and the heel off the floor, pressing just above the top of the knee. Okay? Can you feel the tightness there? That's, that's fine, it's normal. Okay, now gently go down to that leg as much as you can. Even if it's with a rounded back, that's fine. People who are quite good at this, pull your chest forward and right along. Keep the feet, by the way, up to the ceiling and just gently stretch. Lots and lots of breathing, good. Relax that down. Good, and come up, or oh, creak up, and over to the other side. Now hold the foot, hand above the knee, and just bring the heel off the floor and push the knee into the back of the floor. If you want to do this one on its own for quite a while, you can do that, because that really helps the muscles in the back of your knee. All right, 
Ready? Let's go down. Okay. And push. Good. And stretch. And bend. Now, if you can't hold your foot, like David, just take your hand to wherever you can that's comfortable. Again, don't worry if you're here. That will move. In time. Okay, come up now. And for the last exercise, just quickly, really shake your legs. Deep breath. Slowly release forward. Again, drop your head first. Try and push the base of your spine back and slowly release down. Wherever you are, keep pushing very, very gently. Now come up to where you can get a straight back. Everybody pull your backs up. That's it. Now lean forward with the chest and push. The more gentle you are on this area, the more that your legs and your muscles will open up. If you try and really push, you'll find that you'll jam the legs and the muscles up and it will hurt you a lot more. It won't get you anywhere, so very gently. And then again, last time, release down to where you can. I know I make it look easy, but it's not. It's taken me a long time to get to this position. I'm in competition with Norman at the moment, I think. And slowly roll up, always making sure that your head's last. And if you can, bring your legs together, gently. <sighs> Good, well done. That was the last section of exercises within the tape, and probably some of the hardest. When you come back to doing the exercises again, make sure that you do just a little bit more, a little bit better, and go a little bit further. And you'll see some really good results very, very quickly. Exercise can have a tremendous effect on the way you feel and look, from both a psychological and physical point of view. You'll find that exercising at night will help you to relax and switch off, or equally, it will energize you for the day ahead if you do it in the morning. There is, however, more to overall health than just exercise alone. Each one of us is totally unique, yet we are all constantly sold the image of the perfectly toned and slim body without any consideration of what is right for us as individuals and what else we need to do besides exercise. That's why, in Holistics, we take an interest in each person's nutrition, their day-to-day -day emotional well-being and relaxation. Problems to do with lack of energy, reoccurring minor illnesses, insomnia or bad skin, to name but a few, are all too common. So I've included in the accompanying leaflet some useful information around nutrition, bathing, skin care, and some alternative ways to combat these problems. It's also important to find some time to devote to yourself each day, time to relax and quietly reflect on the day, working out any problems that might be causing you to eat too much, sleep too little, or to be more prone to illness. Taking a bath or a shower at the end of each day is an ideal place to do this and can be a real treat. It's also excellent for relaxing your muscles and increasing your circulation, especially after exercising. I know it's a tall order to not only try and persuade you to take exercise, but to also tackle these other areas. But from my own experience, I know that if you do, you'll be amazed at how quickly both you and others notice the difference. Enough exercise for now. Why don't you loosen up with us and have some fun?